I am Samantha Hoffman. I'm from Manhattan, and I'm in the LEAF program, and we are in New Jersey, Delaware Bay Shores. Being an intern here has actually been a lot of fun. I just love learning how everything is interconnected and how things just rely on one another. I mean, people rely on nature more than we think. Yesterday, we actually built our rain garden, which was a lot of labor-intensive work. More so than I expected. A rain garden is a garden that uses rainwater to pretty much water the garden, and it helps stop non-point pollution that would otherwise run into creeks and bays in the ocean. The plants absorb all of the chemicals because they can use some of the chemicals that are still in the water. So they can grow strong from the things that wind up injuring us. And they're really helpful because they're easy to plant. They don't cost much money. Certainly a lot less than like chemicals to clean the water would. And it's a healthier alternative. Who knew that you could just naturally filter your own water in your own backyard and you're helping the environment and you're making your yard more aesthetically pleasing for yourself and the people who pass by? My summer here at LEAF has definitely made me change the way I thought about fresh water. Everybody in New York lives in this tiny, itty, itty little bubble. We really don't question anything about like where our food comes from or where our water comes from that we use every day. And the fact that we do that is kind of makes our world smaller. Our fresh water is so precious on Earth, it surprises me how little people know about it and how little people know what they can do to help protect that fresh water. Even in places like New York, we can create rain gardens in small parks. Using a rain garden could definitely cut down your water usage from like pulling out a hose because you're just using natural water that's already been given to you. When I go back to New York and I turn a lens up, I'm going to remind myself that water is really precious. 